everyone. Um, just a quick video today. I'm going to try and use the microphone so you can hear me. Um, I'm actually at the Southland um, recycling plant um, today, just doing a bit of a tour around to see um, how everything works. I've done a few tours before, but um, this one here I wanted to come to because this, to me, is probably one of the most fantastic recycling plants um, in the country, given that they recycle pretty much everything here. Um, absolutely amazing workforce they use all um, people with disabilities um, so they've got jobs and the ones that I've met so far just absolutely love it so here we go we're just going to start hopefully we're just going to whip through but um, just at the start here um, I'll just turn the camera around so this is where the recycling's loaded in so the recycling trucks come in um, from around the region and they drop their recycling in here um, and there's all sorts of stuff in here so there can be quite a lot of contamination um, we can see just standing back um, different things that can't be recycled but the load trucks come in here um, great it's just actually quietened down here so what they do is this um, dozer here picks up the recycling and drops it into that area over there where you can see the green so that's where the recycling gets they'll scoop up um, loads of it and they'll take it up and they'll put it into that area this will work really well if, it, if the line's just stopped because we can go through while it's quiet. That would be cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through. We'll go for a wander through. And um, in this area here we've got our plastic bags. So um, in Southland's quite different to most other areas in New Zealand where we can't recycle plastic bags. Um, in, in Southland people can put all of their plastic bags into the recycling um, they also have this area over here that um, they do confidential shredding which is fantastic um, and we'll see so Ange is this um, this is all the stuff that's going to landfill so this is a whole lot of um, different bits and paste pieces that have gone through the um, recycling process or being pulled out before and is all going to landfill and if you actually look in here it's pretty gross um, there is like oh oh look at that there's like meat juice and there's chippy packets and you'll see some stuff that possibly you would think could be recycled but what's happened is it's been contaminated um, with other waste so um, there might be a bottle of liquid or things oh look there's a disposable nappy how how appropriate um, I mean, I talk about these in the workshops these days, but nobody really knows. Um, and, yeah, and I'm going to show, like here, we can actually show you. So a lot of these little bits and pieces um, will be like, uh, will go to landfill purely because uh, they have been contaminated by stuff around it. So wandering through, we've got, um, so these guys take in like the gas, canisters, there's all sorts of stuff. Um, so going up here, it's actually really good because the machines have just stopped because they're having a wee break. So I'm going to take you through while there's very little noise. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Okay, so where we were before, you can see down here, that's where the recycling's loaded in and it starts coming across this area here. So there'll be people who stand in front of these bales. Now what they're doing is pulling off any big cardboard and dropping it in there, plastic, um, so plastic bags, you can see the bubble wrap, um, and then there's also all the stuff that does get recycled, it's going along here, um, the glass goes down into this chute, so they'll pull the glass off and put it down into this chute, we've got the metal cans being pulled out, so they're all being sorted at different areas, and you'll see um, the cords, there's um, cords and things in here that get pulled out. All your plastic bags. The glass goes down this little chute here and gets crushed um, as it goes through and ends up in that bin down the bottom there. Coming along here, we've got anything that shouldn't be in the recycling goes down here into a rubbish bin. So you can see like oil containers, polystyrene, um, meat polystyrene trays. We've got the chippy packets, so the the multi-pack bags, um, biscuit wrappers, anything that can't be recycled has gone down into that bin. Um, they're taking off paper, um, and you can see um, coming across here, like they, these people are sorting it by hand. 
Now, this is something, like, we would have, just before when I was standing outside and the machinery was going, um, we had a whole bunch of people up here, and they're all sorting it by hand. And this is why it's really important that we're actually really sensible about what we... Um, what we are recycling um, and that we're not putting things like sharps and needles and things in there because you have people using their hands to pull it all out. Um, so all the, the um, paper and um, the cans, uh, not the, the paper's going up and along that blue machine there um, so where it will be sorted into anything that's actually um, contaminated is, is pulled off. The bottles, cans, cans drop, down drop down here. So is there a magnet that picks off? Oh, okay, so here's our magnet here. So up there is going, is that the paper still going up there? Yeah. yeah. There okay, everything's separated up there. So that's when I've talked about the, um, like the different ways that the plastic and the paper gets separated going up that little area there. Then our cans are pulled off by um, a magnet up here so you can see all the cans. It's amazing how many cans there are. There's a whole, it's a whole bin over here of just cans, um, which is very cool. Now you don't have to take the wrappers off your cans like a lot of people think, um, because when they melt the cans down, it actually comes off. So over here we've got um, more sorters. So they will be sorting the plastic milk bottles are going into there. So we've got our cans there coming off automatically. Um, plastic milk bottles. So again, this is all sorted by hand um, into plastic types. We've got Coke bottles, pump bottles, soft drink bottles all in there. So that's all being, again, pulled off by hand. Um, so that's our clear plastics. Then at this end, we've got um, all the coloured plastics. So in some of them... No, that's because it's got a blue tinge, it comes a colour. Okay, because it's got a blue tinge. There you go, didn't know that. Because it's a blue tinge at the bottom of the bottle, it becomes a coloured plastic, so it's not clear. Um, and like you can see still along here, there's still bits of rubbish coming along. Um, and each person at each stage is sorting a different plastic. So here we've got mixed plastic, so you've got all your sour cream, um, your, like your pie containers. Now not all of these are recyclable in all areas, so... Um, like I said, Invercargill is quite special because their council um, and the way that they're set up at this recycling facility, they can recycle a lot more than what a lot of councils can. Um, and then at this end we've got all of our cans. So the tins are taken off way back at the front there and then it's all sorted down here and then we've got our aluminium at the end here. So. Um, I mean this, yeah, it's and it's fascinating because again you can see that whole line so we've got a whole lot of people who are hand sorting. This is why it's re really important that you actually clean all of your recycling and then down here this is all the stuff that's going to landfill. No, some, no? some will get go around again, resorted. Um, so you can see all the stuff that's fallen down the bottom here. So some of the stuff is taken out at the top. Um, when it first comes on and then some of this will go round again and be resorted um, and others like anything that's not able to be recycled recycled will end up going to landfill um, and you can see like there's just it's so exciting that there's so much actually being re repurposed and reused um, they get all sorts of stuff like there's a whole lot down here people have brought in their business um, books so end of year books from years ago, um, there's uh, the plastic, the plastic sort of ties for round containers. All our cans are put into um, little um, little crates, or they're all compacted into these um, what we call them bales. bales. <laughs> I, was, I was losing the losing the the word there. But all our cardboard along there that gets baled. Um, this machine that I'm walking under is the baler, there you go. So that's where it all comes in, gets baled. So coming around this way, so this is our rubbish. So that's the one that we saw from the top. Um, so there's like, it's an electric blanket in there. Seriously, rags? Um, okay, that's a good one to, to show. Um, so this is, oh look, look at all the nippies. Look at these nappies. And they've got poo in them. That is disgusting. Ooh. 
Why do people think they can do this? There's more, more nappies. Um, oh, ooh, people are disgusting. Um, all sorts of different things, onion bags, um, like, oh, people are disgusting. Um, and also all of this stuff that has been put in there, um, this is what makes it really hard. I'm not I'm just going to make sure I don't stand on those nappies because that is just gross. Um, but all of this stuff that's in here is not recyclable and it pays. Like there's the um, plastic stuff around I'm um, using for your garden things. Um, and this is where I think the, the really important the really important stuff is that we need to start learning to reduce and reuse, not um, like recycling is the last point and a lot of stuff like we need to really recycle. Um, we're gonna, we, I'm going to take you for a wander around this really other exciting area that we've just been through because now I understand what they all do. <laughs> um, so coming through here, so here's our baled plastic, so that's our clear plastics and milk bottles. We've got our mixed plastics here. Just make sure you guys I'm not wobbling the camera around too much. It takes 16 of these bales to make one woman's day magazine. What? One. So it takes 16 of these bales to make one woman's day magazine. That's insane. How's that? Because it'll be mixed with, good pro with pure product as well. It's, the fibres break down. It's mixed with pure product because the fibres break down. Oh, because that's your, that's your, all, all your, um, the sort of the paper with all the bits through it, eh? Okay, and coming into here, now this is where I got really excited because they've got awesome stuff going on in here. So, they actually make coffins. How exciting is that? They grow willow, a British willow, and they make coffins out of, um, out of the willow. They, the, um, that's, that's actually a coffin. How cool is that? And it's all just... Um, it's all woven, and it's all woven by hand. And you know, the crazy thing is that they've got um, everybody's dying to get into these coffins, and um, they've sold out. They can't actually go over that. Um, over here, they, they can't sell more because they've they've already all booked. It's crazy. Um, over here, we've got. Um, if you've actually just at this point, if you've got any questions, I'm going to ask Angela at the bottom at the end of this. Um, if you've got any questions, just um, pop them up, and I'll ask Angela in one go. These here are all um, meters that have come in for recycling. So what happens is they've got a group of lovely people in the next room who actually pull all of this apart. So every single screw, every piece of metal, um, everything is pulled apart and tried to be reused or repurposed. Um, they've got like truckloads of them here um, and they'll pull all those apart now over here we've got polystyrene so this is one of few places that they recycle the polystyrene so here they come in and the, these guys sort it all out and it goes up through this machine here and into this um, the green bit behind it which I'll just take you around so the green bit behind it over here melts the polystyrene and pops out this um, really, really cool, poly like compacted polystyrene little brick. So that's actually quite long. Now, see the size of this. Angela was just explaining to me that about, say, about that much. Just my hand about that much of the brick of the is actually going to be it takes. This will blow your mind. All of those bales of polystyrene over there makes that much of the bricks so they can't run the machine until they've actually got enough to do it um, over here they've got all chip plastic so they chip all their own plastics and put them into bales because they get better money for it by doing that um, we've got such a cool place so exciting so these guys are all working at um, dismantling all of the hey um, they're dismantling all the um, all the meters and things um, and pulling off all the bits and down here there's all the stuff that's come in from the recycling um, that they'll pull apart and break down these motherboards so the motherboards are all pulled apart and every single bit is taken off it and recycled um, we've got all of the they have heaps of jewelry come through here we've got bottle tops we've got cans um, pills jewelry 
Um, all the scooters, so down in Southland there's lots and lots of stuff um, that they actually recycle, which they don't around the rest of the country unless it's done by an independent. So these guys are, like there's um, old TV boxes that they pull apart and recycle. Um, all of the cords, so all of the cords here, um, these are all stripped, so they actually have a special machine over here. I find this sort of stuff so exciting. There's a special special machine over here that actually strips the wire. So they put it through in all the different sizes and it comes out over here into different wire and then so you've got your copper um, and they and it all gets on sold and so it's re reused. Over here you've got all the containers, um, like oil containers and all your well that's what's that? Um, all sorts of different ones over here. So all of these containers come over to this machine. Where is it? Oh, it's that machine. Hang on, I'm getting lost. This machine behind here. And this here is a chipper. So it chips all the plastic and drops it down into the bales and then the bales are sold. So these are all multicoloured plastics that they resell. Um, outside, I'm just going to take you for a wee quick walk outside while there's no forklifts going. So outside here, this is where it all ends up coming out. So we've got over here all sorts of cool stuff. Um, so it's all bailed, and I'll ask Angela where all the bales are going um, once I've finished doing the wee tour. So these here are all bailed up, different bits of plastics. Um, we've got our clear plastics there, which are the milk bottles. You've got your mixed colours, coloured plastics. These look like car bumpers, I'm pretty sure. So that's another plastic. Um, You've got plastic, like those look like wool bales or um, things like that. You've got more different mixed grey plastics. So I can see in there they're the white milk bottles and things. Um, we've got all the silage um, covers that the farmers bring in to get um, recycled, which is really cool. In the corner over there, they've got all of, these are all cans. So they've got like cans and like big bales of cans. This whole row is cans. So all the cans over here um, and then they've got pallets um, they recycle the pallets um, they've got glass they chip the glass and then they use it in gardens and all sorts of stuff um, honestly this this place I mean for me this is really exciting because not only do you see all these people um, who are just loving their work which is so awesome but it's such a cool um, such a cool idea that they do so much like there's just they they try and take everything out of all of the bits and pieces that they can so exciting um so we um i'm just going to walk back through and see if there's anything i've missed i don't think so um here's all the glass that comes through all the broken stuff um so what fascinates me about recycling is that i think as a race we're really really bad at it and we should really make way more effort to re recycle as much as we can um, because if we can't reduce it and we can't reuse it then we do need to recycle but for goodness sake I mean honestly having nearly stood on a dirty disposable nappy that's come through why should anybody ever have to touch that that's just so gross um, so has anybody got any questions um, uh, while I'm while I'm standing here next to Angela um, about what, what happens. I know there was one down here that was, where do the bowed plastics go? Hey Ange, where do the bowed plastics go? All of our plastics go um, overseas. We have a buyer overseas and then they are recycled into a whole lot of different products. Uh, for example, your Coke bottles, it takes five empty two litre Coke bottles and that there's the fibre fill inside a Kathmandu jacket. Oh, wow. Yeah, or it comes back as your wee road markings with the red bits at the top, the recycled plastic, um, and I can show you, Kate, a short video on to what else it comes back as. Oh, cool. Awesome. Um, I'm just seeing if there's any other questions coming through. Um, so, the, um, yeah, so that, like, that's our little tour. There's a lot... These guys have just got so much exciting stuff on and so many really cool people working here. Um, and it's just really exciting to be able to come in and see all of the different people um, doing the different jobs and doing their best to do the best stuff that they can for our planet. 
So I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, and um, oh, it does the recycling centre operate in profit? It's a not not for profit organisation, isn't it? Yeah. So they do. Um, yeah, all of it is not for profit. But um, oh, and this guy over here. So this dude here. He um, takes out all of the um, nails out of the pallets so that they can um, reduce, uh, like, and reuse the wood and stuff. Um, so, like, there's just everything going on here. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, so I will wrap it up there and um, say thank you for joining me on my wee recycling tour. Um, it's been really fun going around. I, I do, like, I like that the videos from here stay up there. Um, but I think it's really important for us to know what actually happens. And obviously I talk all the time about um, what happens, but it's great to be able to see uh, what happens actually in person for you guys as well. Um, so catch you guys later, and um, thanks for joining me.